Welcome back to Better Palooza, and it's time for us to hop in the DeLorean and go <laughs> back, back, Alex, to the futures. NBA futures, you know, a long time ago, maybe like a few months or whatever. Or weeks. We're on weeks, probably, <laughs> right? It's, time is a, it's a circle, it's a flat circle. We picked our Eastern Conference and Western Conference winners in the NBA, and now we're going to revisit those picks to see how we feel about them, especially after this trade deadline. We oh, may yeah. want to sweep them under the rug a little bit. So let's get right to it. Alex, I'll start with you. I mean, um, this is what eight years of daily meditation is. <laughs> I literally picked the first in the West and the first in the East. I was on the Suns and I was on the Heat, baby. I mm. love it. And I am, I'm doubling down really at this point. I mean, maybe the Heat cool off. Mm. Right now they're first in the East. They're playing top five defense. They're playing very balanced offense. You see Jimmy, Jimmy Buckets is back to around 25 a game. He's second in boards on the team, second in assists to Lowry, who's actually top 10, if I'm not mistaken, in assists as well. And Hero's putting up 20. And if you can get a Hero getting 20, sometimes starting, sometimes off the bench, that is gorgeous Heat basketball. And they play tough. It's really that Heat culture, mm -hmm. as they like to say. You look at the Suns, don't really need to say much. 44 and 10, they had a franchise record 18 game win streak. They're the only team that's top five in offense and top five in defense. Yeah. And in terms of continuity, I mean, they brought everyone back. I think JaVale McGee's been a humble, yet very key addition off the bench. Mm -hmm. I think they only got better. And I think State Farm is going to be having to up in those residual checks for CP3, baby. <laughs> he's coming for the playoffs, and he's oh, coming man. for the Curry and the Thompson splash. There brothers. might have to be a third poll added to the, to, the, yeah. uh, to the commercial after that. All right, Katie, you're up next. Let's talk about your futures. All right, well, I'm doubling down as well, and I've got one pick similar to yours and one that's different. So Eastern Conference, I took Miami, and I am also doubling down on this one. I absolutely love it. The Nets, the favorite. Well, they're flailing right now. I know with the trade, it's going to get a little bit better. Miami is leading the East right now. They are one win ahead of the Bucks, and they've been hot even without all of their starters this season. I think the, the starting five has only been in like 15 games together this season. They're getting healthy again. They're getting hot. I absolutely love them for the East. And my pick is the Warriors, and I'm still doubling down on the Warriors. Yes, they've gone through like a little bit of a skid this season, and they are trailing, I think, by three games from the Suns. But in a best of seven, you're going to tell me that Curry at 100% and Klay Thompson at 100% and Draymond Green and Wiggins and everybody <laughs> else they're gonna beat the suns in a best of seven i still like the warriors all right eric talk to me all right for the east i, I picked the nets and I, i'm gonna double down you know I, I really do think they got better you know ben simmons everybody forgets this guy's an all-star you know he can take over a game yes he doesn't shoot a lot of threes but he's 6 11 he's long he's a great defender you add him in with kyrie when he gets the opportunity to get back on the court and then kd when he's healthy i mean i don't care at what point in the season these guys get healthy as long as they get healthy before the playoffs they're trouble for everybody in the, in the Eastern Conference. So I'm going to double down with the Nets. All right, all right. So for me, if I remember correctly, I picked the Bucks in the East, and that was my safe pick because, listen, this is the defending champs, right? Mm -hmm. And they only, they've been treading water, but they've been playing well as of late. They're still in contention for number one in the East. They just made a trade, trading Dante DiVincenzo for Serge Ibaka, shoring up their front court increasing their spacing because Serge can hit threes and he can still play defense. And seeing him and Bobby Portis on the same front line, that's going <laughs> to be scary for the league. And as I said before, I think when we, when we made these futures, I just think that you have to beat the champs if you're going to be the champs. Right. And until some team knocks them out of the playoffs, especially with the reshuffling that we've seen in the East, I'm going to roll with them. And I think I will double down on that now. In terms, of, in terms of what Philly's done and what the Nets uh, have done, yeah, I, I, I might feel a little bit shaky yeah, about my pitch. Real. It, it did get real, but they're still the champs. And all right. those guys were there last year, and you saw what happens. So, and as far as my West goes, I believe I went with the Warriors. Mm -hmm. I think that's who I went with. I think we were we were yeah. riding together on that. And yeah, Curry made us look like believers in the beginning <laughs> because he was on an MVP tear. Kind of... Where he's human, this is a good, a feel good story because he's human just like the rest of us, right? He went into a, what he would consider a slump, but I still think it's all going to come down to matchups. Yeah, they might have to wait until the East, the Western Conference Finals, to see the Suns, but if everything else it, it matches up, I think we'll be straight. So, Alex, you have MVP, yeah, I believe. Rock with that. MVP, I mean. I 
I'm on Curry, but I don't know <laughs> if he's gonna. <laughs> and you had the Suns for the Western Conference, right? Yeah, yeah. You still, you still rocking with that? Oh, 100%. 100%. So I, I'm putting my, I already have yeah, the some, of my, some of my W's from earlier in the season locked up on the Suns to win the West. I'm on Curry. It's a big man's league right now. I mean, you look at what Jokic has done. You look at what Embiid has done. They're coming back. Giannis, interestingly enough, putting up very similar numbers, like 29-11 right now that he did when he won the MVP. But if Curry can get hot again, I mean, he had his first triple-double since 2016. He's had a 50-burger. Mm -hmm. He's put up over 30 points a dozen times. I think if they end up in the one of the two seed, I think he can maybe retain it. If you like him, there's some better value than I got him at, but yeah, so I'm on. Nothing wrong with that. I like the Suns. What about you? My, my Western Conference pick was the Utah Jazz. Ooh. Okay. And while I love Donovan Mitchell, he is a baller. Yeah. Rudy Gobert, great defender. They just don't have enough to compete with the Suns, <laughs> with the Warriors. Yeah. You know, it's just not enough. You're, you're cashing up. Yes, yeah, so I'm you're cashing out. I'm, 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 I'm throwing in my car. Wise man. Again. No, I'm good. Never again. I, I only go to Salt Lake City on connection flights anyway. So, oh! so I'm good. I'm I'm good. Like, that's it. I'm done with Utah. Oh I'm done. Katie, I must, I must still ride with you if you're still riding with the Warriors. 100%. I think, I think we can double down. I feel, Absolutely. I feel safe Best about that. Best of seven. Best of seven. You got to go with the Warriors. Prove it. All right.